What's up, YouTube? So before we get started with this video, on first take, they're going to be telling me how Steph Curry apparently punched a wall after a loss in Game 6 of the Finals to the Toronto Raptors. So let's see what they have to say about that. I want to ask you this. Obviously, you talk to these players all the time, and you were in this locker room post-game. Tell me what the emotion was like and what went down after the game. Yeah, Steph Curry was really saddened. And it had nothing to do with losing. and I mean, it had something to do with losing and not repeating, but he was sad about what he called his two good, really good dudes, and that's Clay and, and KD. And he, he just like, this is supposed to be the best summer of their lives. They're getting a big contract. Uh, they're at the peak of their career, and then this happened. It was, it was almost like he felt, like, guilty, like nothing happened to him. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Cousins is, the way he looked at it, he saw this was like a Jordan Peele movie. He said it was like a scary movie. Uh, he was like, who's going to die next? Yeah. You know, you just really, he said, I, I just really want to get to the end to see if I was going to be alive. Sean Levinson was saying that, you know, we were out there dying. Um, these injuries are, are something that I've never seen in, in finals history, except maybe back going back to the, the Lakers days. And so first off, I'd like to say congratulations to the Toronto Raptors. You guys did an excellent job. You played an excellent series. You took care of business when you had to at home and at the Oracle. Um, congratulations to you guys. You guys did what you're supposed to do. And it doesn't matter what was going on with the Golden State Warriors, with that injuries or whatever. The fact is, you guys won. So congratulations. Um, and as far as uh, Clay Thompson and Kevin Durant getting their money this summer, I think both of those guys are such high quality players that I don't think it really matters very much that they're hurt, they're injured. They're still going to get max contract, especially Kevin Durant is going to get a max contract, even though it's going to take him a while to heal. So as far as that, I think they're good. Um, as far as Clay, uh, um, uh, 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 Steph Curry, so he might be going through a little bit of uh, what survivor's guilt because he was pretty much the only one that didn't get hurt because Clay got hurt, Kevin Durant got hurt, Kevin Looney got hurt. So that's probably what he's going through, but that's just part of it. You know, in order to be a dynasty or win championships, you have to stay healthy too. That's another part of it. You can have all the players, all the talent, but if everybody's hurt, it doesn't really matter. So let's keep going. Even Steph, he almost started another injury. He, he was so just upset about the pain that his, I guess his brothers have been through. Then on his way to the shower, he punched the wall and then went in there because he just, he's upset. Well, he better be careful because they already committed $200 million. <laughs> watch that hand. I mean, yeah, watch that hand. That's yeah. number one. Number two. If I, if I were in the locker room, I'd just say, Steph, it's the fourth quarter. Three, <laughs> two, and he missed the wall. There you go. Oh. Whoa, 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 Max. Too soon. It's too soon. It's too soon. I mean, that's a good one. That's good, but it's too soon. It's too soon. But th that was definitely a good one. That was good. But it's too soon. It's too soon. So let's keep going. Oh, oh you are so wrong for that. You, said that you know what you should be for it's, Halloween? It's, it's, a troll. A troll doll with the bright hair I used to collect when I was I remember. A I remember. I remember for oh years. Oh, my goodness. That the reason why it's easy for me to ignore that, the reason why it's easy for me to ignore that is that I remember for years, for years, I would say that it would, if it were Bird or somebody like that, I would take them over LeBron for the first, for the last two minutes. But there's no way in hell I would take them ahead of him for the first 46. This 48 minutes, this 82 games, it matters. And so for me, when I look at Steph, I'm not going to look at a waning moment. I'm going to look at overall what he brings to the game of basketball, and I'm not going to disrespect him like that. What I will tell you is this. Steph, part of the reason he's feeling guilty again is because he got his. You see what I'm saying? Kid Steph Curry got $200 plus million. Yeah. It was supposed to be KD's turn. It was supposed to be Clay's turn. And so that's what that's living in. You know what? He's got his, and they didn't get theirs. And I think that ultimately they're going to get it no matter what. I think that's fine. But I think that if you're Steph in that moment, you're worried about all of that. Yeah, and they're legit. So, again, I wouldn't necessarily be worried about uh, Clay Thompson and Kevin Durant's money. Those guys are such good players that. Even even being injured, I think they're going to get a max contract because of how much they bring to the table. And definitely Kevin Durant will definitely get a max contract wherever he goes or whatever he decides to do. Because those players, they're just such high quality players and you can count on them. They're going to get their money. So as far as that, I would not worry about that. But let's keep going.
in pain, when physically, both of them. When you talk about Steph, of course, the vast majority of what anyone should, including that's what I experience, is think about how great he is in so many different ways and how he's the engine of this dynasty. This has been an incredible run so far. It's not over, I don't think. You know, I think there are years where they will contend, and I think they got at least another championship in them. Steph, Clay, Trey. But at a certain point, you acknowledge all that. You know you're talking about one of the all-time greats, and now you're splitting hairs. Now you're talking about, like, you can't get over the fact that it's make or miss. There's no in-between. He had the look. It was the last shot going to ever be taken at Oracle by a warrior. You got it to Steph Curry. It was an incredible look. I mean, like, you had guys in his face. Why the game before? Why Why didn't he make sure he got that shot? What do you mean? Who? Kawhi Leonard. The game before, he was doubled, so he passed out of the double. And, and it was, yeah, he's by the star. way, he got figured and, and, out. He didn't win that game for him. I agree. By the way, Kawhi's not above criticism. Yeah. he could have dribbled it out, no, made no, a pass, no, or tried to make a play. He's not. He, no one's perfect, but, no, but Kawhi I mean, consistently and, has come up big in those yeah. moments. And Steph has been something less than his best self in those moments. Yeah. In other. So Max, I understand what you're trying to say, but I, I another thing you might want to look at is Steph Curry might not have to come up and shoot a lot of clutch shots, last minute shots, because generally the Golden State Warriors, they don't let it get to the point where they're going to have to uh, start rushing and start cramming for the test and, and shoot clutch shots because they don't let it get to that point. They're always beating up on people, so there's no need to make a last minute clutch shot. So I don't know. Let's keep going. Moments is incredible. I'm just saying like, what Perk just said. No one's above criticism. At this level, we are splitting hairs. And yeah. if Steph hits the shot, they win the game. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I thought Steph had a, a great final, uh, with exception to that last shot. He was beating himself up after that. Said he bobbled it a little bit. He said, I could make it 10 out of 10 times. But if he makes that an oracle, man, uh, that would have been a hell of a way to send that place off. So I'll agree. I'll call it what it is. Steph Curry probably should have hit that shot. He had an open look. And he said, what, 10 out of 10 times you hit that? That's something he does have to hit. So I'll, he's not perfect. I will get knock him for that. You know, you want to be the MVP. You want to be the, considered one of the best players. Uh, you no, know, you got to hit that type of shot. You got to hit that shot. And you missed it. So, you know, it, I, I, he's not going to get away unscathed from me. He should have hit that shot. You know, I feel pretty good, confident. Confident that Kobe would have hit that. MJ would have hit that, you know. So, but he missed it, and it is what it is. But I'm not going to let him get off scot-free. Like I said, Steph Curry, he should have hit that. He definitely should have hit that. And missing that kind of makes Max look right. But I can start splitting hairs to, it can go either way with what Max says about Steph Curry. So, let's keep going. But the one thing that, what would they have been in Game 7? Nothing. Like, I I, I, I asked Cousins, like, could you imagine if you guys would have won that game? He's like, man, oh, my God. I, but I don't you, know. Cousins is right. Maybe someone else goes down with a catastrophic injury. Yeah. And maybe they're best to miss a game seven. Yeah, yeah. And I Steph mean, did show, let me be fair, Steph showed a lot of improvement and maturity under pressure throughout these finals. He did things I have not seen from him. He before. contributed to the two wins that they won and almost yep. won game three. Yep. And so when you talk about a guy, listen, Steph Curry is not somebody that's in the conversation for the best player in the world. So we need to understand that when we're judging these guys, as you call it, splitting hairs, that's usually as we're conversing about who's the best in the world. The point that I'm trying to make is that we acknowledge Steph is the greatest shooter we've ever seen, but nobody confuses him with being the best player in the world. So if you, so I hope people listen to this, they don't confuse uh, uh, people saying that Steph Curry is not the best player in the world. So he's not the best player in the world because of pound for poundness. So pound for pound, uh, Steph Curry could be the best shooter, but pound for pound, he's not the best player overall. That would have to probably go to a Kevin Durant or, you know, maybe LeBron James or one of those guys because, look, Kevin Durant is dealing with being seven foot. He's a seven footer with a jumper from anywhere. So no matter what, that's seven foot right there. And he's got a jumper that's immediately could probably going to put him above Steph Curry, who's only six three. Same thing with LeBron James. LeBron James is what, six nine, what, two fifty, two sixty. So it's kind of hard to argue with that when he's coming down the paint and he, he's like a locomotive and he's going to get his. So to say that Steph Curry is not the best player in the world, you have to really look at what that means. And, you know, taking a lot of consideration because, like I said, Steph Curry, he's a shooter. He's not necessarily a scorer. And like I said, he's not a seven footer. So automatically he's going to be out as I guess if you want to call it being the best 
player in the world. I, I have to go with Kevin Durant with that being a seven footer that has a jumper from anywhere, or even a, a Kawhi Leonard you could throw in there being six seven with mad defensive skills. You know, that's just there's nothing that Steph Curry can really do about that because of the size. So as far as that, I just want to make that a little bit more clear. So let's keep going. The greatest shooter that we've ever seen. And you finished the finals averaging 30, okay? I'm looking at you and I'm saying, excuse me, it's not a choke job or anything like that. You got to make that shot last night. It would have been nice, particularly the last game at the Oracle. That would have been something special. It wasn't meant to be. But it's not like Steph Curry did anything. That dissuades us from believing he's still the greatest shooter I felt, we've ever but, seen. But I, I just, I don't give it to you, but I felt so bad because I knew what I was going to come out and say today once I saw him miss that shot. I don't want to say that. I wanted him to hit that shot, but I can't say I was surprised that he missed it because yeah. consistently throughout his career until this finals, he misses that shot and he missed it again. And it was the last shot at Oracle and it wasn't a great look, but it was a good enough one. It's a weird play too. Steph said he thought it was a, I don't know how this was a great play or maybe it was messed up a 